In the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we're looking at three areas that you need to focus on if you really wanna see an increase in your organic traffic this year. All right, let's go. Twenty twenty one is finally here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about three ways that we can increase our organic traffic this year. SEO is getting harder. There's just no doubt about it. So we can't think of it the way that we used to. You know, it doesn't work within a silo. It's not something that you know you do to your site one time and you set it and forget it. It's not something that you know you do every once in a while or you only do in one area or it's really its own department. It touches many departments today. It has an impact on many channels. Users are leveraging search as well throughout their entire buying cycle, whether they're looking for information on a product, looking for information on ideas and concepts, all the way to making a buying decision directly from the search results. So doing what you've always done is not going to get you where you want to go this year. The old things that you know you may have been doing in the past or maybe doing because you think that you should be doing, you know, but you're not seeing the kind of growth that you want to see from them, those are not going to just magically work again this year. So you need to start thinking differently about how to approach SEO. So here are three areas that we can focus on. Before we get into that, let's get some background. So Google's John Mueller spoke at SMX Virtual last month, and he shared a number of things that SEOs and webmasters need to focus on this coming year. Uh, everything from you know the core web vitals, which we talked about in our last video, and we talked about uh, what to expect in 2021. He also talked about how technical sites, sites that are better technically, will perform better. So they have an advantage. Uh, that technical SEO is generally harder to do. So if you don't know much about it, you should get some help. Sites should aim to get users to pool, user pool. So you want people to search your brand name and, and really identify your brand as somebody that drives value. Rankings are going to continue this next year. Uh, there's going to be SEO updates that help maybe less savvy SEO sites. So people who create really good content, but maybe aren't the best at technical SEO or some of the other SEO factors. And then he also said, you know, people need to look for ways to be more visible. And this is where things like structured data and some of the other aspects of search come into play. So we're using this as a background to kind of set up where we should focus, as well as, as a couple of just intuitions that I've had and things that I've seen that have really helped to increase our organic traffic over the last year and things that I know are going to continue to play a role in the year to come. So the first thing is split testing. Now this is very different from CRO or conversion rate optimization, which is something that's pretty common in the web design space. This is actually doing A-B split testing in SEO and we can leverage this to know exactly what has a positive impact on our organic traffic. This allows us to stay in front of the curve. Instead of doing what a lot of SEOs do, which is wait and see what Google does and then react to that. So instead of being reactionary, we actually are gonna be proactive in our SEO approach by using split testing. So if you want to see your site skyrocket, you really wanna see your traffic grow, this is a powerful thing to do. Now there are tools out there that you can do this. Um, some of them are a little bit more expensive, require really, really large amounts of traffic. There are some other ways to do that. We actually shared a video with some templates that you can use to create split tests of your own. And then I also know that there's a lot of tools that are getting ready to come out next year that are really going to open up the use of uh, A-B split testing to the SEO community as a whole. So this is something that if you're not doing now, you should definitely get on board and start leveraging. So one of the things that John Mueller mentioned was that sites should aim to get users to user pool. Like you, you need to be able to drive people to your site based on who you are and by your brand. And this is all about brand SEO and this is gonna play a big role but it can also really help increase your organic traffic by really owning your brand's identity and creating a good relationship between you and your content and how Google sees it and how it's all connected together. Now a lot of brands do a very poor job of managing their brand SERPs. Maybe they haven't claimed their knowledge panel. Maybe they don't have their brand information updated within the search results. And they're not really leveraging it to the full extent of its capability. They haven't tied it all together. This directly impacts all areas of your site, specifically the knowledge panel, which are those really cool cards that you can get in the right-hand side of search on desktop or within mobile as well. Now, Jason Bernard is a genius when it comes to brand SEO, and I highly recommend if you want to grow your brand SEO and get more out of it, you should check out his site. It's calicube.pro. There's tons of content on there. There's tools that you can use. 
Uh, they are also doing a lot of experiments as well to really stay in the front of brand SEO so that they can help themselves, but also help other people leverage brand SEO much more uh, to get better results. Now, the third thing we should focus on is technical SEO. You might have seen that four of those eight bullet points that we brought up earlier had to do with technical search. These are things like core web vitals, page experience, um, having a good technical foundation. You know, John Mueller said, you know, technical SEO is harder than, than a lot of typical SEO tasks like on-page optimization. So these are areas that websites need to focus on. You need to have a site that's technically sound. You need to have people working with you that know how to make a site technically sound and not just pretty. You know, there's a lot of people that focus a lot on the way their site looks, but they don't think about the performance of their site. And this plays a big role when it comes to, you know, page experience, load times, indexing, crawlability. Are you doing all the technical things correctly to make sure that your site can be easily indexed within the search results? But then are you extending that further and looking for ways to make yourself more visible? And this is where you can add in things like structured data. And that's something we've talked a lot about on this channel. And for a long time, structured data has been one of those like nice to haves, right? It's one of those things that you can do to maybe give a little bit more information to the search engines and really extend uh, the context of your site. Now it still does those things, but it's becoming more and more important, especially with the impact in the increase of rich features within the search results. So this is where structured data is now a game changer and sites that are leveraging it are gonna generate more traffic. Now this is one of those areas that it can seem extremely technical and like you need to hire somebody outside to do it. Now there are cases where that is Absolutely true. There's a number of things that we do with structured data that are very technical, very complex, uh, and that are very, very powerful when it comes to SEO. But if you want to get started and actually just implementing some structured data on your site, like the main areas of structured data that are tied specifically to the rich results, I actually created a course that's for all levels. So anybody who's wanting to get started or maybe has been doing it for a little bit but wants a few different ways to scale it, I've created a course that actually shows you step by step how to plan, how to create, and how to execute structured data on your site so that you can earn those FAQs, the how to, the video features, and all those other really cool rich features that we have within the search results that really can increase our site traffic. So if this is something you want to do and you really want to take your SEO to another level, I want to give you 25% off by just using the code YouTube and you can sign up at learn.simplifiedsearch.net. Again, this is designed for all levels. And what's cool is, is I'm also there to, to help you along the way. So if you sign up for this course, you're gonna have me uh, walking with you uh, along your journey here and helping you make sure that you can implement it to the fullest extent. So again, thanks for checking out this video. We talked about three areas that we can leverage this year to increase our organic traffic. We talked about the power of split testing with A-B split testing. We talked about the importance of brand search. And then we also talked about how we really need to focus on technical SEO. If you got anything to comment, anything to add, please do so below. And until next time, happy marketing.